Welcome back viewers. On this week's episode, we're going to continue with our semi-automatic malfunctions. Under the umbrella of fail to eject is a common malfunction known as a stovepipe or a stovepipe jam. That is where you would see a fired round, an empty casing, actually being caught in between the slide and the top of the barrel or the breech, thereby failing to eject and allow the firearm to properly feed. A stovepipe jam will commonly look like this. And this will be the remedy for curing such a jam. Firstly, we talk about mechanical failures of the firearm that results in the failure to eject and hence a stovepipe. That can be as a result of a weak guide rod or another mechanical failure in the extraction of the round and thereby not giving it enough opportunity to eventually eject from the pistol. Another technical or mechanical type failure could be a low charge in the ammunition, old rounds or perhaps reloaded ammunition that did not have enough charge to fully uh, recycle or cycle or fully cycle the slide, thereby ejecting the round from the chamber. Here you see now I've loosened my grip, allowing you to actually see what a stove pipe here. Old time stove pipe, not in my days, but that's where the term and the word has come from. We can actually see underneath that a round is uh, just about to actually feed into the gun where the uh, round has not fully ejected. The slide is out of battery and the gun is unable to actually fire and discharge the round at large. There may be a number of techniques in which we can address this. One of the techniques to do so would simply be to try and swipe that round away and to actually see the slide go fully forward and there we should be in a position where the round and the firearm is in full operation. Again, let me just unload, check the firearm clear. That would be one method of clearing the stovepipe jam. Second such method of clearing this However, it will result in a round being lost, would be at times to tap and to rack, thereby extracting or further ejecting the stovepipe round or the casing, but it also extracts a live round, but we also now have a live round in the chamber, and here we back up on top, and the gun is empty. Both methods are effective in clearing a jam. One obviously costs us a round of ammunition. However, it is an option that is always available to you. Be sure if you wish to have more information on how to address and understand such malfunctions, be sure to visit our website or contact one of our expert personnel to sign up for a training course and program that will expose you to these techniques and education.